So when you come to Salem Vein Anesthetics and you have a diagnosis of varicose veins, which in medical terminology means venous insufficiency or incompetency of the valvular mechanism, and you've gone through your period of conservative management that we've talked about before, then we can enter the phase of, well, what are we going to do? In the past, it was vein stripping, and everybody knows how horrible vein stripping was. Their Aunt Sally had it, and they were in the hospital for a long time. We haven't done that in over 10 years here. We were one of the first people on the West Coast that performed what's known today as venous closure. The general term for that is endoluminal vein ablation, and that's because it can also be done with lasers and other mechanisms. But the most important thing to understand is that we use heat to destroy the inside lining of the vein itself. The difference is, is that there's virtually no recovery time from this procedure known as venous closure. Uh, we like to have patients basically take it easy the day of the procedure because we give them sedation and we don't want them to go out, you know, walking around sedated. But the day after, they can do whatever they want. We've had a patient run a marathon the day after one of these procedures. And it apparently has no effect whatsoever on long-term recovery, uh, recurrence rates, or anything of that nature. 